Hey guys, my name's Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're working on the brand new 2019 and up heavy duty Ram truck. That's the 2500 through the 5500. Today I'm gonna show you guys all the different factory radio options you have for your truck. So no matter what trim level you have, you will have different options to upgrade to a newer and nicer factory radio by infotainment.com. So today I'm gonna show you the five different ones that we carry here on our website. I'm gonna show you how to install them, show you some of the features, and that way you guys can make an informed decision. So let's get started. All right guys, this is the first option here. This is the Uconnect UAA option code factory radio. Um, now this radio here looks familiar to a lot of you who have a tradesman or a bighorn trim level. Um, what's great about this one here is it has integrated satellite radio through this port right here. Um, so you, if you just want satellite radio, you're in your truck, you're driving all the time, you just want satellite radio, this is a great option. Um, believe it or not, that little antenna that's on your roof, that is also not only a compass antenna or the compass feature, but it also is a satellite radio antenna. So in order to receive those signals, you'll just get an adapter just like this from us which plugs in to this port here, and then you just plug your compass antenna into here, and then you'll have factory satellite radio uh, in your truck. So a great option for those of you who just wanna add that feature, this is the UAA option. All right, our next option here is the UAM option code. Uh, this is a fantastic unit, great upgrade for your truck. This particular unit here has an 8.4 inch screen, touch screen, it also has built-in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Fantastic unit, uh, you retain all your factory uh, functions and features with this unit here. It does also have built-in satellite radio. So if you currently have satellite radio, it just plugs in. If you want to add satellite radio, you'll just need this little antenna adapter, which can be included. Um, in order to install, it's very easy. You're just gonna pull out your existing radio and your existing bezel, and you're simply just going to swap it. So great um, option here for those of you who really want a larger touchscreen with um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Another thing you will notice when you go to the 8.4 inch radio is the larger, the larger screen, which is great for your backup camera. It makes it a little bit more safe as you're in reverse. So great option here. This is the UAM option code. All right, our next option here is the UAQ. This is the Uconnect system. Now, similar to the UAM option, this has the 8.4 inch touchscreen. It also has built-in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but it also has built-in GPS navigation and built-in HD radio capability. Um, so that makes this a little bit more unique. Uh, very easy to install, and I'll demonstrate that here shortly, but a great option. This is actually uh, a unit designed and specific for the 2019 to 2021 uh, Ram 1500 Classic, but we are able to repurpose it for the heavy duty as well. Um, so this is obviously a, gonna be a really uh, nice option for those of you who specifically want your built-in Apple CarPlay Android Auto. Again, built-in GPS navigation and HD radio. Uh, similar to the UAM, again, it has also Sirius satellite radio. Um, those of you who want that do not have satellite radio currently, you can get one of these little cables here to uh, utilize that antenna that's on your roof. Um, and if you do have satellite radio already, it'll just plug right in. So this here is the UAQ option. All right, next up we have here is the Uconnect UAV factory radio option. Now, similar to the UAQ radio, this is going to have built-in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. It will have built-in GPS navigation, uh, built-in Sirius XM satellite radio, and HD radio. So a fantastic option um, as our next step. It does have the 8.4 inch display. It is a separate display. So from the main radio unit itself, it is a separate display. This is an HD crystal clear um, image. It looks really, really sharp. Um, you do also get the piano black bezel, which really makes the, the dash kind of pop. Uh, it does, does also include the center stack here as well. Um, so another great option here is our fourth radio option, the UAV. 
All right, last but not least, guys, this is the UAX radio option. Most of you who drive a Ram truck know all about these units. These are found in the Laramie and the Limited platforms. Trim levels, fantastic unit. One of my favorite out of all of the whole website. Um, this 12.1 um, touchscreen, high resolution digital display. Um, it does have built-in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, has built-in GPS navigation, Sirius XM with the 360 package, um, also HD radio. Fantastic unit. You have the piano black bezel that goes around your touchscreen. Um, you do have the separate radio module here. Again, if you don't have satellite radio, you just need one of our little adapters. If you do have it, it'll just plug right in. Um, so an awesome upgrade here as a premium option here for the heavy duty Ram truck. This is the UAX. All right guys, now that I kind of showed you all the different radio options, now I'm gonna show you in this actual truck how to install them and how they look once they are installed. So right now we're in the 2019 and up Ram heavy duty, as I mentioned, we're in a base model Bighorn. So the radio that's in here is a UAA option code that does not have Sirius satellite radio. So again, I'm going to show you guys the UAA option code with Sirius satellite radio, how to install this in your truck. Those of you who have this and who are interested in upgrading to this specific unit. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is remove this center stack. Now there's two screws um, on the top here that's just below this liner, and then the rest of it just comes out. It's just retaining clips. So we're gonna go ahead and take the liner out and remove the two seven millimeter screws. At this particular point, you can use a dash pry tool or a regular screwdriver and kind of work your way around the circumference, or you can just muscle it out where you just kind of grab a hold of it and pull it from the dash. So we'll do that now. Now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect all the connectors behind. This connector here, you're gonna press the tab on the side and pull it out. All right, now that we've removed the center stack here, I'm gonna just show you guys real quick um, all the different things. So these are those retaining clips that go around the circumference of the unit. Um, we also have plugs that we unplugged. In this particular truck, we had uh, several of them. We had our cigarette lighter plug. The white FACRA plug is your AM FM antenna. The blue FACRA plug is for your GPS, the compass feature. The red FACRA is for your backup camera. This gray connector here, this USB connector, is for the remote USB media hub. This connector here is for your climate controls, HVAC. This lower connector here is for your lower controls. And this connector here is for those of you who have the electronic trailer brake control switch um, there at the bottom as well. So I just wanted to show you guys, just in this particular truck, um, what plugs we unplug. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove this bracket right here so we can remove the UAA radio. So there's just four Phillips head screws uh, in each corner. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those now. You're gonna slide the bracket up and then pull it off to the side. You can remove your factory radio and slide the replacement radio into place. Right here is where it slides into the cavity. Then just replace your four screws. Of 
We're now ready to reinstall the center stack in the vehicle. All right, as I mentioned earlier in the video, most of you who have the heavy duty truck already have the satellite radio antenna on top of your truck. Now to utilize that, not only for the compass feature, but also Sirius XM, you'll need this little antenna adapter. And all you'll have to do is just plug that into the curry colored FACRA clip, and then your existing blue compass antenna will just plug into here. That will allow you to not only uh, retain your compass feature, but again, also add Sirius XM satellite radio to the new head unit. So now we're ready to turn this around and then go ahead and install it. All right, now we're ready to set it in place. So all we have to do is just push it and reinstall our two screws. And replace our liner. That completes the installation process of the UAA radio option. All right, guys, we went ahead and buttoned everything up. Now let me show you how it works. So here under the radio hard key, um, you'll be able to now, you'll see the SXM icon. So if you press that, you now can go to Sirius Satellite Radio. And you have it right here in your vehicle. Um, there's no, again, there's no other antennas you have to install. There's no tuners or modules. You simply just have to replace the radio along with that little adapter. Radio to party music channels. Now what you'll have to do is on, on the sticker of the radio itself, we'll have your XM ID, or you can tune to channel zero. That is your code. That's the code you'll give to Sirius XM and um, to begin your subscription. So again, real easy upgrade. That's the UAA radio option. All right, guys, we went ahead and installed the UAA radio and showed you guys how it worked. Now we're gonna move up to the next step, which is the UAM radio. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble the dash just, just the same way we did before, and then we're gonna bring it over to our workstation where we can go ahead and install our new climate control panel and our new radio. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to remove this center bezel along with the radio, and we're going to install the new radio in its place. Now this bezel here is a custom designed part by infotainment, so it's all plug and play. So let me demonstrate how to do it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the four Phillips head screws that hold this bracket, which ultimately holds the UAA radio to the bezel. Once we remove the radio as well as the bracket, we can now go around the circumference of the bezel and remove the Torx T15 screws. All right, so we have our screws removed. Uh, there's 10 T Torx T15 screws, so we'll set those aside. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift up on the, the panel and we're gonna push the bezel forward to release it. We're then gonna take the bezel that's included with the kit and come in from behind and set it in. Now we can take those same 10 screws and reinstall them into the bezel.
Now that those 10 screws, the Torx T15 screws have been installed, we're going to go ahead and put our radio in. Now that'll slide right into place. And then we can install the four Phillips head screws. We're now ready to install the center stack into the vehicle. All right, now similar to our UAA radio, again, this truck did not have satellite radio. So we're gonna go ahead and plug our antenna adapter into the curry colored fact report so we can obtain Sirius satellite radio. So now we're gonna flip this around and go ahead and plug all of our plugs in and attach it to the dash. All right, guys, we went ahead and buttoned up the dash again and started up the truck. This is the UAM option code radio. This thing is amazing. It's a great seller of ours. Um, right here within the radio soft key, you'll have AM, FM, and Sirius XM. Again, if you want to subscribe to Sirius XM, you can go to the channel zero, give them the code there, and they'll be able to initialize the service. Um, so you got your radio, your media here. You'll be able to do Bluetooth streaming audio and be able to connect through your USB port. Um, one of the biggest reasons why people love this radio is for the CarPlay and Android Auto capability. So you'll be able to have all of your apps uh, right here on your display. Um, you'll have the GPS navigation feature through your iPhone or your Android phone. Um, your, this, in this particular case, it's Apple Maps. You'll also um, have other things um, such as uh, your settings, Google Maps. You can put a whole bunch of different apps on your phone, which will then relay onto the screen itself. Google Maps is kind of fun. I put it on the satellite view, uh, so it gives it more of that Tesla style. Um, you'll be able to see actual buildings in, in landscape. Um, crowd favorites, Spotify, um, be able to listen to the songs you want easily to just the touch of a button. Uh, Pandora, all sorts of different apps, guys. You can go to the apple.com to their CarPlay section to figure out what apps you have on your phone that you can relay right here to your infotainment screen. Um, you have your Uconnect Access Maps uh, or app. Um, here so you can come in here and adjust some settings maybe you want to adjust your audio um, your treble and bass uh, equalizer uh, speed adjusted volume and your loudness um, another big reason why folks want to go to the uam the 8.4 inch screen is the ability to install a cargo camera now we will have a video here out real soon that's going to be part of this build series where, where we will install a factory cargo cam. So that's gonna be pretty neat. Um, a separate upgrade, of course. Your backup cam, I wanna throw that out real quick. You know, look at the, how big the screen is here. From the UAA to the UAM, that 8.4 inch screen really makes a big difference. You can see a lot more clear uh, what's going on behind the truck. So that's really neat. Um, your compass, once you start driving your truck for the first time, it will link up and it will tell you which direction you're going. Again, your settings menu, you can come in and change different features and functions. You retain everything, guys. You will not lose anything by going to this radio. Um, and then your controls, those of you who uh, want to get a little easier access to um, those specific things, you can uh, just press controls. Um, so as you can see, an awesome upgrade, very easy to install, guys. Um, 
Just a really, really cool upgrade um, as our second upgrade, the UAM option code. All right, guys, we just got done demonstrating the UAM option code. So now what we're gonna do is show you guys the UAQ. Now this is also an 8.4 inch touchscreen, but this is the one that has the built-in GPS navigation and the built-in HD radio. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble the dash, we're gonna swap out the radios, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove the four Phillips head screws. We can go ahead and pull our radio out and install the replacement. All right, now that we have our four screws in, we can go ahead and reassemble the dash. Okay, the reassembly instructions are the exact same again. Um, so we're gonna fast forward through it, but I'm also gonna make you guys aware of our antenna adapter. Those of you who do not have Sirius satellite radio and want to add it, you will get one of these. It just plugs in the back of the radio. All right, guys, we went ahead and installed the UAQ. We went ahead and buttoned everything up. Uh, this is what it looks like. So similar to the UAM, it's got some similar features. Uh, in the bottom soft key here, the media, you will have AM, FM, um, as well as HD radio. Um, uh, you will also get Sirius XM. Again, tune to channel zero for your XM ID, or just look at the sticker on the radio. Um, you can also press source select. You can go through Bluetooth, USB 1, USB 2, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, your climate will also be here as well. You can't control the climate here because in this particular case we have manual controls, but it will mimic whatever you do with your manual controls. It will mimic on the screen. Uh, your settings menu, similar to the UAM, you can come in here and, and uh, play with a couple different features and functions. One thing that I do like about the UAQ in the display mode, you can go to set theme and you can actually choose between a couple different wallpapers. Um, so you can choose something that you like, maybe one you like a little bit better than the other. Um, and then your app section here, again, you can uh, look at the different apps you have and have a little bit easier access to them. The UAQ does have built-in GPS navigation, as I mentioned. So you press the nav key, you can tell it where you wanna go, you can search where you wanna go, um, but then you notice here it does have your, your map, 2D and 3D maps. It also has 3D landmarks, and it does have the Sirius travel link and traffic feature, which is an additional subscription through Sirius Satellite Radio, which will tell you where there's accidents and congestion and stuff like that. But this does have the built-in GPS navigation. Going to CarPlay here, this is a CarPlay, CarPlay demonstration with our UAM. It's gonna operate the same way. You can get access to all the different apps you want that's compatible with CarPlay. Um, again, I love the Google Maps here, the satellite view. Um, 
Uh, the other thing that you can do too is you could press and hold either your voice command button on your steering wheel or this button right here and Siri will come on and you can ask whatever question you want. Uh, it does have the um, fully digital backup camera. Um, looks really sharp, um, uh, which obviously is a great safety feature there, but just a great all around unit. Um, great quality. We've been selling these particular units for years uh, with a lot of success. So this here, guys, is the UAQ option code. All right, guys, we went ahead and did the demonstration on the UAQ upgrade. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the next tier, which is the UAV option code infotainment system. Um, it's a little bit different than the other ones in the sense that it does have a separate radio module. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble the dash now, and I'm gonna show you guys how to install the UAV option. All right, guys, as you can see, this is the dash we just pulled out. This is the one we're about to install. You'll notice it is missing the lower controls. Um, all you have to do is take the lower controls off your factory um, stack and move it onto here. It's real easy to do. It's only held in with two screws from the backside. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those two Torx T15 screws, and we're gonna go ahead and slide the module into here and reinstall the screws. All right, now once you remove these two screws here, again, Torx T15, you're gonna see two tabs on the top and two tabs at the bottom. Basically, what you'll need to do is just press those tabs outward, meanwhile pressing down on the control, and it will release from the bottom. Now what we can do is pop this into our new stack. All right, now from the bottom, you could just slide it in and you'll hear it clip into place and just reinstall the two screws. All right, now that we have the lower controls installed on the new center stack, we have one last thing to do. We're going to transfer the cigarette lighter uh, adapter here over to this center stack. So on both sides, you're gonna have a little tab here and a little tab on the other side. Basically, you're just gonna use a small screwdriver, just lift up on the tab while pushing, lift on the other tab, and this whole assembly will slide out. Then you can press the two tabs on this little plastic piece. There's one at the top, one at the bottom, and it comes right out and you just follow that in reverse onto the new bezel. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install the UAV radio module. Now this fits directly into the dash. It's already pre-designed for it. Um, but you'll notice there's no nuts or screws to retain it. So we'll actually include those. Um, so you'll get four nuts and four screws. And you basically just pop those into place. Now, before we put the radio module into the dash, we're gonna wanna connect in the included LVDS video cable. Now, this is the cable that plugs into the white connector at the bottom, um, and then the other end will plug into the display itself. So we'll go ahead and plug that in down there. Now, we can plug in all the existing radio connectors that you disconnected before. Again, this truck did not have satellite radio, so we will use the included adapter.
going to want to take the cigarette lighter connector and kind of have it towards the top. We're going to tuck all of our wiring in. You will probably have some slack wiring from the LVDS cable. You can just tuck that back there as well. You only need um, about 12 inches, 18 inches of wire. So at this particular point, we can go ahead and drive in our four included screws. All right, now before we put on in our center stack, we're gonna go ahead and install our adapter wiring harness. Now, you'll notice two connectors that look quite similar. Um, one of them has a little notch at the bottom. It's keyed a little bit different. One of them is flat. One of them has a little knurled notch. The one that's flat is going to be for your electronic trailer brake controller. This one here is the one that went into your climate control. So we're going to go ahead and plug that into our plug and play harness. This will go into the new climate control. And then this one will plug into our display screen. So we'll do that now. All right, now we're ready to install our center stack. So on the back side of it, you notice you still have the same two connectors at the bottom. You have the new connector here um, from our adapter harness. We'll plug in here. This is the display sp screen connector, and this is the video uh, line, the LVDS video line. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plug in our connectors. The one side of our adapter harness says connect to display screen, so we'll connect it there. The LVDS cable that we ran from the radio module will plug in up here. The other side of our adapter harness will plug in right here. And then our lower controls will plug in as designed. Last connector here is your cigarette lighter. All right, now that we have everything installed um, and buttoned up, the last step is to plug in the security gateway module bypass and run the OBD Genie programmer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, guys, we have everything buttoned up and in its place. Um, as you can see, it has that really nice piano black bezel color, um, just really pops. It also has that high resolution display, um, as you can see as well. Um, similar to the UAQ and the UAM options, you have over here on the left side, you have your AM, FM through the media section here. You also have Sirius XM, tuned to channel zero again for your ID, ID, your climate. So when you upgrade to the UAV and the UAX infotainment system, it is designed for automatic temperature control. Now, if your truck did not come with automatic temperature control, we do sell a kit that you can easily install to take full benefit of having automatic temperature control. Um, in your control section here, you can uh, toggle between your backup camera. This is compatible with a cargo camera as well, which is sold separately. Through your nav uh, soft key there, you can obviously um, have full access to GPS navigation. Uh, similar to the UAQ, you have 2D, 3D maps, 3D landmarks, uh, serious traffic and travel link for an additional subscription. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, also um, a standard feature with the UAV. And then in your settings menu, also like the UAQ, you can come in here and set your theme. Uh, so you can choose between different wallpaper and different graphics. So just a really cool upgrade here, the UAV option code. I did want to point out within the nav as well, uh, it does have the pinch to zoom feature, which is really neat um, that this particular unit feature. So again, this is the UAV option code.
All right, guys, we just finished the installation and the demonstration of the UAV. Um, now we're gonna go to the last and final one. This is the UAX infotainment system. This system is amazing. It's got the 12.1 inch touchscreen as well as a slew of other features. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble the dash, we're gonna remove the UAV system and we're gonna go ahead and install the UAX. Now keep in mind, it doesn't matter which uh, radio you have in your vehicle currently, you guys can all go to the UAX um, infotainment system. Such a great, great uh, item that we carry here on our website. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it and then show you guys how it works. All right, similar to our other upgrades, guys, we're gonna go ahead and remove the lower controls and we're gonna go ahead and remove the cigarette lighter. Okay, now we're ready to install the UAX module. Now, similar to the UAV, it does require you to put in those four nuts and it comes with the four screws. So since those nuts, those metal nuts have already been installed, we don't have to do that right now. Also, it works just like the UAV in the sense of having a separate radio display. So you plug one end of the LVDS cable into the white port and the other end will plug into the 12 inch display. So now we can go ahead and install the UAV radio module. We're gonna plug in all the existing connectors. Again, uh, this vehicle did not have Sirius satellite radio, so we are using this adapter. We're gonna go ahead and plug that into the curry colored fact report, as well as the rest of the radio connectors. Now we're ready to install our adapter harness. Again, the one with the flat bottom, we're not using that, it's the trailer brake control. It's the one with the notch on the bottom of the connector. So simply uh, plug it into the female part of the adapter harness. And then the other part will plug into the display screen. Last but not least, we can go ahead and plug our cigarette lighter connector. Now for the UAX instrument panel, it does have a smaller uh, lid at the top. So this one won't be used. We will include the factory lid for the UAX system, which again is just a little bit smaller, but it will fit right into the top. Okay, now we're done with the installation part of the UAX radio. Now we have to run the OBD Genie programmer to configure the vehicle's BCM 
uh, for this specific upgrade. Again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in our security gateway module bypass, and then we're gonna plug in our OBD Genie programmer into the OBD2 port. So we'll do that now. All right, guys, uh, we went ahead and buttoned everything up after the uh, OBD Genie programmer, uh, and now we fired it up. And what a transformation to the truck. Now you have this large 12.1 touchscreen right here in your Ram truck. As you can see, 100% factory, 100% uh, factory fit and finish. So um, what we have down here is our media icon. So our media icon is gonna let us select our source, whether we're using our USB, Bluetooth streaming audio, our AM or our FM. We do get HD radio with this. You can also have the map pop up if you want, a little map in that particular section. If you wanna access satellite radio, press select source and you'll be able to access that. Uh, this does have the 360 L package, so it does come with all the graphics and everything like that um, with the XM channel. So really cool there. Um, controls here at the bottom. If you had heated or vented seats or a heated steering wheel, you'd be able to easily access that from here. Now the climate. Again, I mentioned it in our UAV video. These 12 inch systems, um, the UAX and the 8.4 inch UAV, they do feature automatic temperature control. If you want to utilize automatic temperature control to its fullest extent, we do have a kit that you can install. We have a video on how to do that, which will allow you to utilize that climate feature of automatic temperature control. You kind of set it and forget it. You set it to the temperature you desire and it always stays at that temperature. So it's a real convenient feature. Um, in the app section, uh, you can kind of go through here and look at the different apps. Um, navigation, now you have a full navigation screen. It does feature pinch to zoom, um, similar to our other navigation systems. You can do 2D and 3D maps. Uh, it does have 3D landmarks. And you can also see it's activated right now, the Sirius travel link and traffic, um, which will show you on the interstates uh, and the highways if there's um, congestion or accident, stuff like that. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, through Sirius XM. If you go to CarPlay, um, this does have built-in CarPlay. Um, you can utilize all the different apps that are predetermined by um, Apple. Um, CarPlay or Android Auto rather works the same way. You can utilize that to the fullest extent. So just a really, really cool upgrade here, guys. Um, you do retain your backup camera, your steering wheel controls, all of that you retain. If you want to add a cargo camera, you can do that with this system as well. Um, again, it's um, just a great system here. As you can see, not very hard to install, but just transforms the vehicle completely having the nice big 12 inch display in your truck. This here, guys, is the premium UAX infotainment system. All right, guys, as you can see, we went ahead and showed you all the different factory radios we have here at infotainment.com, ranging from the small one all the way up to the 12 inch one. It doesn't matter which one you have in your truck presently, you can choose between any of those. We have people standing by that can help you uh, make an informed decision uh, before you purchase. Um, all of our radios are factory 100%. They're not aftermarket, so you will retain everything steering wheel controls, backup camera, climate controls, everything you will retain by shopping with us. We offer a whole bunch of different options, not just factory radios, but a whole bunch of other options for the Ram truck specifically, over 25 different factory options on our website. We have how-to uh, DIY tutorial videos that show you how to put it in yourself. So be sure to come check us out at infotainment.com. Thanks for watching.